Good evening. My name is Ingrid Berg. I am the Recreation Coordinator for the Miriam Parks and Recreation Department and the Curator for the Tim Murphy Art Gallery. On behalf of the City of Miriam, I would like to welcome you to the awards presentation for the 25th Annual Heartland Artists Exhibition. As you can see, this event looks vastly different than those in the past, as have most things over the last year, but the show must go on. So thank you for attending our virtual ceremony. This year we received 245 works from 84 artists representing 10 different states. Of those, 80 works were accepted from 53 artists representing six states. This year's judging was done by Mrs. Chris Chapin of Lawrence, Kansas. Thank you, Chris, for taking time out of your own busy schedule to help us with one of the largest exhibits of the year. I would also like to thank all the artists that submitted works to the Heartland and congratulate those of you that were accepted into the show. You are among some of the best around. And now on to the good stuff. Our awards tonight consist of three distinguished awards, the Susan Hayden Award of Distinction, the Tim Murphy Memorial Award, and the Irene B. French Memorial Award. There are three $100 awards of merit, $500 for third place, $1,000 for second place, and $1,500 for best in show. Winning artists will receive an award certificate as well as instructions on claiming their cash prizes. And so with judges' comments, the winners are, for the Susan Hayden Award of Distinction, goes to Sinologist, a pastel for, by Diane Epstein of Columbia, Missouri. The artist used humor to tell a story. The background bookcase and the window add interest, but do not detract from the focal point. Good use of color and composition. Congratulations, Diane. The Tim Murphy Memorial Award goes to 2020, a watercolor by Denny Dowdy of Kansas City, Missouri. The use of color and good composition without many details create an interesting moment in time. The change in value from the foreground to the background emphasizes the figure. Congratulations, Denny. The Irene B. French Memorial Award goes to Afternoon Light, by an oil by Chung Wayne of Shawnee, Kansas. This soft painting creates distance through the use of color and values. The warm color of the yellow house draws the viewer's eye as all the surrounding colors are cool. Less detail is seen in the foreground and the background, reinforcing the focal point of the yellow house. Congratulations, Chun. The first award of merit goes to I Might Take a Train, an oil by R. Gregory Summers of Overland Park, Kansas. Great job on a complex subject. The artist separates the planes to create depth. The smoke in the foreground and from the train yard, as well as the clouds, create movement around the painting. Congratulations, Gregory. The second award of merit goes to Frozen Thaw, tribute to K.L., a pastel by Robert Clossing of Butler, Missouri. The color palette evokes a cold winter day. Nice composition that creates movement through the painting. Interesting brush strokes create texture. Congratulations, Robert. The final award of merit goes to Anticipation, an oil by Elaine Hawk of Kansas City, Missouri. Color and composition. Although the foreground is relatively empty, the lines, color, changes, and reflections add interest and direct the viewer to Arrowhead. The sun and light pole balance composition. Lovely colors and overall feel to the painting. Congratulations, Elaine. Third place goes to Flower Shop a watercolor by Richard Russell Sneary of Kansas City, Missouri. Masterful control of watercolor. Although the flower shop is the focal point, the background buildings add to the composition. The separation of planes creates distance. The use of light and shadows, value changes, and color keep the focus on the orange and yellow building. Congratulations, Richard. 
Second place goes to Demure, an oil by William Schneider of Naples, Florida. Lovely soft portrait. The soft lighting on the figure and hints of light in the background create balance in the composition. The dark values surrounding the light figure create mystery. Congratulations, William. And best in show goes to Luminous Grazing, an oil by Michael Walsh of Belton, Missouri. The composition and separation of planes and the way he creates distance is wonderful. The disc in the foreground leads the viewer into the scene. The hints of orange in just the right places continue the journey into the distance. The colors create a soothing pastoral effect. Congratulations, Michael. And this continues the award ceremony for the 25th Annual Heartland Artist Exhibition. Thank you for watching and please try and come to see all of these wonderful works in person. The exhibit is free and open to the public during regular Miriam Community Center hours and will be on display through Saturday, March 27th. If you're unable or uncomfortable to do so, they will be available to view on our website at miriam.org backslash art gallery starting on Monday. We hope to see you all in person next year. Side note, if there are any artists that are interested in showing at our gallery in 2022, we have our call for artist applications also available on our website. The deadline for those submissions is Monday, July 12th. Thank you again. Have a wonderful weekend and be well.